greetings Aaron William Striplin um, 41 years old um, I'm born October 30th 1981 um, I had a really good upbringing um, my parents were middle class um, we went to private schools and public schools we raised in the church we we're doing pretty good um, I had an opportunity to stay with other family, friends, and fans. Um, I am experienced what it's like to to have a lower class um, upbringing. So I had lower class and middle class upbringing. Um, but we were raised old fashioned and proper to do the right things in life um, and to love and fear God. I was on my way to school one morning. It was um, time to go to school. So um, I lined up to go to school. I verbally broke up an altercation between two people. Um, and then the bus driver told me that I couldn't get on the bus. I only said, um, stop fighting, the police is coming, the police is coming. Um, so I ended up walking to school and um, as I uh, came to the main street um, for me to walk to Carquinez Middle School in Crockett, California, from Rodell, California, um, a vehicle wrapping um, that was wrapped to look like a, a police car pulled up and a guy got out to try to kidnap me. So everyone ran, including me. and. Um, and then I thought that he was going to shoot me, so I ended up stopped running. And then um, he did kidnap me. <laughs> I um, spit in his car to make it so that there would be some DNA. I tried to hit the windows and kick the windows, but there was nothing that I could do about it. So he took me to his five-story home. Um, he had um, commercial real estate property times here options, residential real estate property times your options, agricultural real estate property times your options, and closed circuit television network surveillance cameras um, uh, on his real estate times your options. And he had Rocketeer Influence Corp organized crime act departments to operate the five story hub. <laughs> and that's where he took me. And, and inside of the five-story home, he beat me, tortured me, raped me, isolated me, sh starved me, drugged me, sedated me, um, alcoholed me, tobaccoed me um, for ransom. He only allowed us to have um, the deposits that he was making for his ransom. And then that's it. He tied me up um, with a ransom rope sh wrap sheet that he himself created in his hostage takeover locations of his five-story home. And um, he put a blindfold over me with um, an opportunity to make it in business, entertainment, and real estate. Um, he uh, duct taped my mouth with... Um, sex slavery and then he um, he um, um, wore a ski mask um, where he demanded ransom and um, a demand a deed forgery so that he can kill my mom for her house that she had to just pay yearly taxes on and um, and then he, he wore gloves the gloves that he wore was a business front. He, his business front was Contra Costa County Sheriff Office. But if you remove me being kidnapped from Clark County's Middle School um, and taken to this five-story home by a sheriff, I'm actually kidnapped, hostage, slave. So that was, was his gloves that he wore. And it's just a city hall business license from Martinez, California City Hall. 
and from the Sacramento, California Secretary of State office. Um, and, and then that was it. He forced me to work as a slave. I had like 50 albums, 165 books, um, three fitness courses, um, three motivational speaking seminars, um, 1,000 audible art. Um, I had the Holy Bible, but I had countless business entertainment and real estate endeavors. Um, so um, that, was, that was it. He took me from 1993 to 2008 and he demanded what he wanted me to do when he gave me money. And then he went to the Secretary of Treasury's office um, and he um, issued the money to me through Social Security Administration. Um, it was $38,000, but he every one of the dollars were already spent. Um, he threatened to kill my entire family um, if, if he didn't get paid. And then in 2008, he used the money um, and uh, the actual um, contractor who had kidnapped me and set up all the deposits to um, withdraw the deposits on um, the um, contractor who was going to um, kill me with um, a rape frame case. And they were gonna cover it up with a series of movies. All right, so um, that was the whole little thing that they did. The police came um, when uh, they were going to try to kill me um, with the rape frame. And then um, I told the police exactly what happened, that they had kidnapped me and they had made all the deposits. Um, they had took my albums and my $38,000 and they were gonna try to kill me. And then the police ended up letting me go for it. They got mad, the people who, who paid $38,000 and hired the hitman um, to kill me and the contractor to set up the accounts for ransom. Um, and they went back to the Secretary of Treasury's office and they um, got uh, another $94,000 issued um, through Social Security Administration and um, and they went back to the same contractor to kidnap me again and set up more deposits again this time through real torture heroin um, gases muscle memory failure needle injections um, beatdowns um, soft peter um rabies, um, sexual abuse, um, uh, starvation, uh, five point restraints, um, isolation, just a very torturous experience. And they demanded ransom and they hired the second um, hitman and they were gonna watch a popular movie um, R. Kelly, where R. Kelly was accused of raping Aaliyah when she was 15. And they used the money to lure me to the Jackson Memorial Hospital, where they gave me an actual blood transfusion um, with HIV blood, mercury, um, hepatitis blood, and herpes. And then they demanded um, the ransom. And so um, they tried to kill me with another rape frame um, in, in, in order so that, so that I didn't get an opportunity to, to profit off of business entertainment and real estate, blackmail, and cover up the fact that they killed me in the hospital with, um, with um, their, their plan. All right, so... Um, I ended up going to the FBI and telling the FBI this. So the FBI was there and seen them kill me in the hospital. All right, seen them collect the ransom after, seen them watching piracy movies. 
all right so who are we talking about we're talking about barack obama he's the one who did this and we're talking about donald trump and joe biden all right so barack obama paid 130 100,000 around or about um through social security administration 2008 and then um was was 35 was $38,000 for the murder. And then between the years of 2011 and um, 2023, he paid $90,000 to have me killed. And he kidnapped me from my school and set up the accounts in, the, in his hostage takeover location. He used several guns, like nine millimeters, uh, 40 calibers, um, um, AK-47s, he used um, Mac 90 street sweepers, 12 gauges, um, M16s, um, 38s, 380s, um, 357s. He used a lot of guns, um, setting up the ransom and um, multiple knockouts, knockdowns, bloody uh, noses, bloody lips, teeth through the through the lips. Um, black eyes and just cruel and unusual punishment um, to get the ransom. And then he even hired his daughter, Malia, um, so that he can maintain the, the account of the R. Kelly piracy movie that he was watching to cover it up. That's why her name is Malia. And um, so that they can watch the, the, the movie um, with R. Kelly and, um, and Aaliyah. And, and that's it. So um, that was his whole plan. So why did he kidnap me and why did he try to have me murdered and pay $130,000? It's because he was killing Helen Gray Stripling for a house. Um, he was killing Helen Gray Stripling, um, McLeod Smith at 9510 Arrowhead Falls Court, Las Vegas, Nevada, 98148. With Donald Trump, they were gonna take her house that she only had to pay yearly taxes on and um, timeshare it themselves. All right, so um, their whole plan was to go to William Taft, the 27th president of the United States, whose collective body today is um, uh, John G. Roberts Jr., um, and filed charges on Joe Biden. And Joe Biden. With, uh, for, for slavery and then Joe Biden would kill all of the plaintiffs who happened to be all of the other family members in the generation of Helen Gray Stripling McLeod Smith and then they were going to take the house of Helen Gray Stripling McLeod Smith and have the whole entire generation killed so that there's no witnesses and that's exactly what happened so um so um yeah I think Donald Trump ended up killing Helen Gray Stripling and, and and uh, McLeod Smith, while he was in the White House, Barack Obama ended up killing Aaron Stripling with second degree murder with Malia Obama while he was in the White House with the Obamacare and Joe Biden in the White House ended up killing Chantel Stokes, Ashley, Lonnie, um, uh, Chantel Renee Purvo, Lonnie uh, uh, Stokes, Gene Smith, um, one, and then two, Ashley Lonnie, three, Crystal Lonnie, um, uh, uh, four, Armani Jones, five, Ladarius, um, uh, Lonnie, uh, six, um, Darren Stripling, um, seven, um, Quincy Lonnie, while he was in office. So all three of those individuals were busted by James Comey, the FBI director, Robert Miller, the FBI director, and, um, and, um, Paula Bay, FBI, George Pyro, FBI, David Johnson, FBI, and um, Christopher A. Ray, the FBI director. Um, Kamala D. Harris watched them going from cyberspace, some sovereign citizen in cyberspace, to Japan. Their whole plan was to get out of it by saying that um, the United States of America, African American paraplegic man Aaron Stripling, was a robot from Japan so that he couldn't use his eye cameras and his voice recorders on his mobility device that caught um, Barack Obama kidnapping him in 1993 and, and, um, and they, so that they couldn't kill Aaron and he can get the house. So now we're at the DC courts right now and um, go there, Aaron Stripling versus defendant Joe Biden.